Hi, Perpetual Mommy here today to do a little bit of a different type of video. I don't normally show my face in my videos. I don't ever show my girls in my videos, but this video really is about my children, so I figured I'm just gonna kind of let them do their thing while we're recording here today. Mouse and today we're gonna talk to you about how to keep your baby safe Mouse in their crib once day. they learn to climb. Mouse so for day. those of you who are new to my channel, Mouse welcome. Day. My name is Perpetual Mommy, I'm Jennifer. Hey, I do have four children. I have a 22-year-old, a 13-year-old, a two-year-old, and a one-year-old, but my channel primarily focuses on the one-year-old and the two-year-old. Um, both of them are climbers, so my oldest two never really climbed anything. The youngest two climb everything. And so when my now two-year-old was about 18 months old, she climbed out of her bed for the first time. We didn't know that she climbed out until uh, we went in to get her from her nap and she had a book in there with her. She had a book in her bed that she hadn't gone to bed with. And so we'd asked her how she got her book. And she climbed out of the bed, went to the bookshelf, grabbed a book and climbed back in. So at that point, we turned her crib to the wall, uh, took the mattress, the support for the mattress out of the crib and put the mattress on the floor inside the bed frame. She stopped climbing out. We thought, great, that works. Uh, the one-year-old then was about, uh, you know, when the one-year-old hit about 14 months old, um, she climbed out of her bed for the first time. We did the same thing to her bed, turned the short side against the wall, dropped the mattress to the floor. Um, that lasted about three weeks. And after that, what happened was I was folding laundry at the end of the bed, and the girls do sleep in my bedroom with my husband and I. And I was folding laundry at the end of the bed, and I looked over, and my baby was hanging upside down, head first, on the outside of her crib like a sloth, with her feet straight up in the air, and her head face down. And she has incredible core strength. It's probably the only reason she did not fall. I have no idea how long she was like that. So without, you know, screaming, which took everything I had in my body, I went over and I grabbed her, and I put her back in her bed. So um, turning her crib to the wall, dropping the mattress to the floor, that did not stop her. She's got incredible body strength. She can reach up above her head with her hands and hoist herself just with her arm strength up and over like a pole vaulter. So she is incredibly strong. People say all the time they've never seen a baby quite as strong as the 14 month old is. And so at that point, my husband and I became fairly desperate. When she did that when I was folding laundry, it was pretty late at night. Um, the girls had had baths, they were all ready, they were all ready for bed. And we didn't know what to do. I was like, I can't sleep. There's no way for me to sleep and have this be a safe situation. Um, at 14 months old, I didn't feel like she was ready to have a Montessori type bedroom, especially in the bedroom with my husband and I. It would have meant that we took our bed out of the bedroom and put the mattress on the floor. It would have meant that there was no dressers in there because even though the dressers mounted to the wall, uh, this little one right here climbs the uh, knobs on the dresser like you would like a rock climbing wall. Um, she does front flips, she can almost do a cartwheel, so she's incredibly, incredibly skilled at all kinds of climbing and acrobatics. So it would have meant removing speakers, removing the rocking chair, everything and anything she could possibly climb, we pretty much would have had to get the bedroom. And that's where we were at. And I was talking to my mom about it, and I was just fairly frantic about it, not knowing what I was gonna do. And uh, I said, you know, we can't get a crib tent. She said, what about a crib tent? I said, we can't do crib tents because they are recalled in the United States, children were actually hanging themselves and strangling themselves in them because the ones that were being sold, um, they were like a top part that just went on the top of the crib and you tied it on or somehow affixed it. Children were getting between the top of the crib and the crib net and suffocating themselves. And so um, my mom said, well, I found this one. It's a lady in Australia and she owns a company and I have my little notes here so I don't wanna get any of this wrong. Her company is called Aussie Cot Net, Aussie Cot Net Company but it's a safety crib net, and it's the only one that is, I wanna make sure I get this right, CPSC baby product safety certified in the United States. Now, it is the only one you can buy in the US that has not been recalled, and again, she is in Australia. Um, instead of the old type of cots like you used to have that just touch to the top, hers is one entire unit. So it literally, it pops up, and taken directly off her website, what it says is, the spun wire self-supporting hoops have no beginning, no end. They are flexible and will always bounce back to its original shape. The tailored design of the crib net means it fits snugly inside the crib and folds under the mattress with no loose netting so your baby can't get tangled. And so it literally is one giant pop-up unit that your mattress sits inside of. The, the zippers for the crib net are on the outside so the child cannot get to the zipper themselves. It does have two zippered sides, one on either side. And so there's really nothing for the child to get to. And I did record a series of videos for this, so it's a little bit different. Again, you're seeing my children run around, which you never see. You're seeing my face, which you never see. I just took a shower, so I have wet hair. 
But, you know, I wanted you guys to see how active my children are and, and what this is like. And there's no worse feeling in the world than not being able to keep your children safe when they sleep. I mean, it was it was a horrible feeling. So anyways, I was talking to my mom about it. She found Michelle. I wrote to her. Now, she is in Australia. We're talking about almost a full day's time difference uh, between her and I. And she wrote back to me the very next day. And uh, she was phenomenal. She answered all my questions. Uh, she sent out two crib nets right away to us. We got them very, very quickly. And from the first night we used them, they've been magic. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, I'm a CPS certified instructor. I also worked for Rady Children's Hospital here in San Diego as an injury prevention specialist for almost 12 years. I just stopped working there about three months ago. Um, so I did work there almost 12 years as, again, a CPS instructor and injury prevention specialist. I do work full time at another job, but I worked pretty in for there for 12 years. So I do injury prevention and safety for a living. I, it's what I do. It's what I love. Um, and I had never heard of Michelle. I'd never heard of her company. And I thought, what a disservice. Um, her nets, if you look at her website, um, a lot of people actually use them for autistic children or children with special needs who who aren't able to, to keep themselves safe or who aren't able to transition into a regular bed because change is hard for them. And so I'm just, I'm in love with this product. I'm in love with the owner of the company. Um, she is the one that will respond if you email her. So again, I did record this video in a series of videos. The first one, you're gonna watch me put the crib into the bed. It takes seconds. The first one my husband did, the second one I did. Um, and I am very short, you guys, so uh, for me to be able to do that was pretty incredible. And then the second video is the next morning. I talked to you about how that first night went. And then I actually interviewed my two-year-old, I did that this morning, to get her to talk to you about her crib net. Now she's two, so she was talking about her you know, Princess Castle bed, which is what we call it. Um, and then she started talking about a carousel that we were on yesterday and started talking about her bath time and then back to the Princess Castle bed. So she's kind of all over the place the way two-year-olds are, but you can see her enjoying her bed. She absolutely loves to get in it. She likes everything about it. She tells everyone she can about her Princess Castle bed. She's playing with the camera right now. So you guys, I just, please ask me any questions that you can. I'm going to try to help Michelle, the owner of this company, get into some U.S. retail shops because I am so very impressed with the product. Huh. But, um... Hopefully this helps you guys, you know, because like I said, there's no worse feeling than knowing you can't keep your baby safe. And at 14 months old, this one was nowhere ready to be in a bedroom Mama. with any kind of furniture, with any kind of rocking chair, with any kind of bookshelf, all the things that you would have in a bedroom. Mama. Plus my husband and I, our bedroom, and I should have said this earlier, our bedroom is one open unit. We have one wall. The, all the other walls are glass, and our bedroom leads right into the bathroom. There's no door. There's nothing. It goes right into the shower, right into the bathtub, right into the big walk-in closet. So it is one giant room. If you could almost think, oh, she's found my cat wipes. If you could, uh, if you can imagine one giant studio apartment <laughs> as a bedroom, that's kind of what ours is like. There's no doors. There's no separation. Um, and so... Um, it, it really would have been a nightmare and a half to get everything out of there and make it safe at all for children who were no longer able to be in a bed. So again, hopefully this helps anybody who needs it. Uh, I look forward to hearing any comments or questions you guys have. Perpetual Mommy, until next time, bye-bye. Okay, so as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this is recorded out of order. So we just received the pop-up crib net and we put the first one in the two-year-old's crib. So her crib is still backwards against the wall, but we put the crib net in the crib to see how it would go before I uh, open the next one for you in the one-year-old's crib. Now, we did not clean our bedroom because I was super excited to get these up for you guys and to try them out because I, I desperately need a way to keep my baby safe inside their beds when they sleep. So instead of spending time cleaning my bedroom, uh, before we recorded, I went ahead and just decided to record. And if you see some laundry or some baby toys, just please excuse the mess. We actually live here. Um, so the first tent went in really, really easy. It is super soft. The material is super sturdy. The strings that you tie with here are super soft. I was super impressed with this material. It's super strong, super soft. So if you have a high quality wood, you don't have to worry about it scratching. This is really silky, silky smooth. The zippers are very high quality, very strong, um, and the zipper pull, as you can see, is on the outside, so the child cannot unzip the tent, um, and it's actually the zippers on both sides. It went in very, very easy. It took only seconds to do, so you guys are going to watch me do the second one here right now. So this is the one-year-old's crib, and the crib that comes in a yellow bag just like this with very easy instructions on how to open it and then how to fold it. That's literally all it is. Super duper easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and open it up here. You find the zipper to open it up. 
So I, I've never seen Michelle's work prior to today and it's phenomenal. Michelle's the owner of this company. Um, super great to work with. Oh, it's already popping open. So I had to even remove the strap and it's already opening up. So it comes as one big piece. All right, let's see here. I'm trying not to hit my husband as he records this. Okay, and you just pop it into the bed. And I probably should have unzipped the sides first. Now I'll tell you the hardest thing that I had with the first one we put in it was trying to straighten the bottom. Um, you can see it wants to kind of fold in on itself. It's because the mattress, when you put the mattress in, that's what holds the tent shape. And so um, the mattress isn't in it yet, so it kind of wants to come in on itself. Now I'm gonna try to do this by myself. My husband helped me put the other one in because I'm very short. I'm only 5'3". And cribs now are very tall for me so I'm gonna try to do it now Michelle does recommend you open both sides but because I'm so short it really doesn't help me to do that I actually may trade positions with my husband and have him do this because I'm so short or I'll just climb in here and do it all right I actually got it in sorry guys you're gonna see my body in here and so all I'm doing now is positioning this mattress in the bottom of the crib net. I'm actually gonna pull the bed a little bit forward so I can get to it on the other side. Sorry, hi. All right guys, I'm just kind of straightening it out. And that is it, so once you do that, there's four ties, or excuse me, four ties on each side, two ties for each leg. So there's one here, one here, one there, one there, and two on the back. So you have eight ties all together and two zippers. And that is literally the entire installation for this. It's fantastic so far. We haven't used it yet. Like I said, they just showed up. I'm out of breath now. So we ordered it from Michelle. It showed up from Australia. We're in California in less than five days. So we got it very, very quickly. Um, Super excited to use it. Can't wait to record the second half of this video. Let you guys know how the girls have been sleeping in it and what we think. Right. Okay, everybody. So we just completed our first night in the crib nets and it went really, really well. So there's the two year old's bed. You can see I did zip it up so you can see what it looked like. And there is the one year old's bed. I did leave it open so you could see how the opening does look when it's ready. Um, you can leave it open so it's ready to lay the baby in very nice and easily and again you can see the ties on the front one two three four one two three four transition went really really well the two-year-old was super excited to be in her princess castle bed she didn't want to get out last night to get pajamas on or take a bath brush teeth and <laughs> do any of that stuff she just wanted to be in her princess castle bed now i will tell you the only issue that we did have is that she really 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 wanted to zip herself into the crib net so we had about a 45 minute meltdown of her being just absolutely devastated that she could not zip herself into her crib net. She kept saying, I do it, I do it, I do it, I zip it, I zip it, I do it. Um, and she couldn't because, you know, for safety reasons, the zipper is on the outside of the crib net. So she did eventually get past that. Bedtime worked great. She slept great in it. Now, because they do have the zippers and the one-year-old does wake up, she's barely one, so she does wake up several times a night still to nurse, I was a little bit afraid that when I unzipped the one-year-old's crib net to get her out to nurse that it would wake the two-year-old up because they are so very close together. Now, um, they're so close together for one reason and one reason only, the same reason why the crib is against the window a little bit there. It's because we only have one solid wall in our bedroom. And so in order to get the babies to not sleep either in front of a solid glass wall or in front of windows, um, they have to share this wall right here. And so I know it's not ideal that the one-year-old is next to a window. We do have extra insulation in the window, which is what you're seeing there. That's like a silver stuff to help keep it, you know, the cold and the hot out. It also blocks light. Um, the blinds are obviously pulled up really high and the, the cords are not on there. Um, but in order for to get the babies against a wall in any way, they have to be close together. Because the one-year-old does wake up to nurse and I did need to unzipper, it is a very large zipper. So I was afraid that 
Because it is an unusual sound, it's not a sound that the two-year-old's used to hearing at night, that she would wake up when I unzipped the one-year-old's crib net. She didn't, so I unzipped it several times last night to get the one-year-old out. The two-year-old did sleep through that, so it didn't wake her up. Now, the zipper is not super loud. It's not quiet either. It's just kind of a normal zipper sound, but again, the zipper expanse is quite large, so it's not a really quick zip. It, again, went great. Uh, the two-year-old woke up. Her name's Addie. She woke up, and she said, Mommy, I slept in my princess castle bed. I slept in my princess castle bed. I jump in my castle bed. So she was just beside herself excited. The one-year-old, she didn't seem excited, but she wasn't upset at all. She just laid down in it last night. I zipped her in and she went right to sleep. Now, the only takeaway that I have for this, the only, and I won't even call it a negative. It was just a, hmm, something I didn't think about before we went to use it, is that both babies just started sleeping with a blanket. So the one-year-old just started sleeping with a blanket, and the two-year-old, you can see her blankets right there, just started sleeping with a the blanket. They got new blankets for the holidays, and they love to sleep with their blankets, but they don't stay covered really well, so I spent a lot of time at night covering them up. And because they're zipped in these crib nets, I didn't want to be unzipping them unnecessarily, um, for fear of waking them up to cover them up. So I was not able to cover them last night, but safety is the number one priority. These nets for the first time in, you know, a few weeks, I was able to actually sleep and not worry that someone was climbing out of their bed. So safety is number one priority. They do sleep in something called a zippity zip. So I'm not too worried about the babies being cold at night because again, they are in a special sleep sack. I will insert the video. So in case anybody's interested, it does go to an extra large. The two year old is still in one. She has lots of room to grow. So it should be fine. Um, so far loving it. This again, first morning we just got up. The babies are just head downstairs to have breakfast with daddy. So Day one, night one went great. The transition could not have been smoother besides, <laughs> besides the zipper meltdown. So I hope that you're all doing really well and I'll talk to you in just a little bit. All right, Addie, you just woke up. Good morning. Wake up, I wake up dinner time. You wake up and it's breakfast time and you're dancing? I wake up dinner time. You wake up from, from nap time, it's dinner time. You wake up from morning and it's breakfast time. Are you what? What are you in? Are you in your princess castle bed? Here, princess castle bed. Yeah. Can you show me how you lay down in your princess castle bed? Like on princess. Can you show me how you lay down in it? Bed. Yeah. Can you show me how you lay down in it? I think it zippy. Oh, you put your zippy on. You're right. We put your zippy on, and then we tuck you in with your blanket. You're right. That's right. That's what we do. And then do we zip you up? Zip up. We zip up your princess castle bed. Did you have a nice sleep in your bed? I wake up. You did wake up. I wake up dinner time. <laughs> when you wake up from your nap, it's dinner time. You're right. You have crazy nighttime hair. Did you know that? I jump in feet. You do have happy jumping feet, don't you? Look at those jumping feet. I jump in no bed. You're jumping in your bed. Okay. I do you sleep every night in your prince in your princess castle bed? You're right. Is your princess castle bed pretty? Is it pretty? That's Aubrey's princess castle bed. You're right. She's not in there right now. She woke up before you. Princess. Like tiger. She does. She likes it. She rode the tiger on the carousel. You're right. What did you write on the carousel? I wanted. Cheetah. You wrote a cheetah. You're right. What else did you write? I wrote a tiger. A tiger. You're right. I wrote a gorilla. You did write a gorilla too. You're right. And then we came home and you were tired and you had dinner and then we got all cleaned up and then did you go to bed? I wake up. I get nice and clean. I get nice and clean bath. You do get nice and clean in the bath and then we get your jammies on and you get to sleep in your princess castle bed. Turn it down, All right. Tell me about your princess castle bed. Do you love it? Here, dark. It is dark when we go to bed. It's okay. Well, I think that's about all we're going to get her to say about her bed, but she loves it. Um, normally, she doesn't even want it unzipped when she's in there. She wants me to zip it up right away. So, she doesn't even normally like the, uh, the hole open. As you guys can see, she has access still to the lights, but um, she's pretty good about not turning them on when she's not supposed to. All right, everybody, we are adoring our crib tents, and uh, the girls, like we said, we call them their princess castle beds, and she can't wait to get home a lot, take a bath, and get into her bed. She's just, it's her favorite thing in the world. She she absolutely adores it. Her sister's already uh, playing 
downstairs because she woke up a long time ago and you can see there's her blankie in there and uh, the two-year-old she has lovies in her I bed let's see here there's a lion and a owl and i think there's a giraffe yep those are her favorite lovies so they go to bed every night with her in her princess castle bed and uh, like i said this is a uh, good morning so we have crazy nighttime hair but uh this is it lion. yes i see your lion baby Okay. All right. This is us. Till next time. Bye-bye.